What's going on guys, Lego PC, bringing you a, another video. Um, today's going to be a little different than usual because I have, wow, I feel like I'm really far away if I sit back. Alright, bringing you a vlog today. Uh, I have a couple things to go over, a couple things to discuss. I'm just chilling on a Saturday afternoon, drinking some beer, hanging out. I don't do a lot of these vlog, vlog things, but I don't have anything particular to review yet. Uh, the sub tank is coming. Sorry, I'm kind of cleaning it up. Um, however, I'm I'm hesitant to review it yet. I'm waiting a little bit longer, um, and the wife's been using it for quite a quite a bit the last few weeks. So uh, I don't want to give it a biased review because I haven't used it over the last couple days. So um, I am waiting a little bit on that, and I will get that review to you guys as soon as I can. Um, cleaning out a limo drop right now. Um, I love my limo drop, but it just flies through juice. A um, few things I want to hit today. Uh, what I really want to do in some of these reviews and in some of these blogs, I'm going to start talking about local Chicago beer. So that's, I have a lot of hobbies, if you guys couldn't tell by now. I've got vaping, I've got video gaming that I do hardcore, I've got poker um, that I do at least once a month where I home, run home games and I play at the casino. Uh, craft beer, where we go out at least once a week and go to a local craft beer place in Chicago. I've gone to Wisconsin, I've gone to Idaho, and or Idaho, Ohio, and um, Missouri. So, uh, big into craft beer. Um, so I have a lot of hobbies, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my hobbies when I'm here today. What I'm drinking is a brewery I actually went to. Uh, this is Lakefront Brewery. Uh, this is called Fixed Gear. It's an American Red Ale, brewed and bottled by Lakefront Brewery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Best by July 28th, so we're good. This is 7% alcohol, 6.8. 6.8. Uh, the best way I could describe it, it's just... It's a red ale, but it's got a hoppy aftertaste. It's just... It's really light. Really, really light is the best way I could describe it. I have been drinking Goose Island's new summer ale, which is fantastic. Um, but I decided to do something uh, a little more fun, do Lakefront Brewery. Their tour, if you're anywhere near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is fantastic. One of the best tours I've ever been on. Uh, the host is fantastic. He's just all-around fun guy. Just uh, had a really good time hanging out with them. Um, the samples were great. I did their pumpkin ale, a bunch of other different ones that were fantastic. I got this from Open Bottle. I think it was $7.99 for a six-pack or $8.99 for a six-pack. Open Bottle in Tinley Park is fan-fucking-tastic. If you haven't been there yet, check them out. What am I vaping on? Uh, a couple things. I got the E-Leaf 50 Watt. I still haven't done a review on this. I will, because uh, I use it almost exclusively now. Um, i am also got the Billow on top, which I've done a review on, and his become slowly become my favorite take. That and the Orchid fight, though I will be purchasing uh, the version 6 off Angel 6 soon. My new Sickest Tits little cover right here. Got that from Vape Bash. That's something else we're going to talk about today. So we have some Vape Bash talks. What juice am I vaping? I am vaping Nana Cream because there's nothing better than some Nana Cream from Bombies. Uh, though I do have some juice to talk about because we've got juice for days here from Vape Bash. Uh, we've got some more right here. So uh, we got lots, lots of juice, lots and lots of juice. Uh, what else am I vaping on recently? Um, so you've got a review on the E-Leaf coming. You've got a review on some juice coming because this is the first time I've tried some of this juice. I bought some of my favorites and I bought some I just really wanted to try. Um, I've got a review on... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Arctic. The Arctic Sub-Ohm Tank. That's got some... I think it's titty sprinkles in there. Thank you, Vaping Cloud 9. I've got a Derringer clone, which has been great. And I brought it because dripping is by far the easiest way to test out e juice. Matter of fact, let's throw in. Um, we're going to throw in some Epic Clouds uh, Strawberry Circus, 6 milligram. Max VG. I actually have been mixing this with the banana, and it is fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Wait till you see the claws in this guy. This review will be coming, but I want to do it after the Kanger tank. Um, I'm a little backed up on reviews right now. Uh, first thing, my camera. This is the camcorder's on its last leg. 
uh, the battery no longer holds a charge longer than 15 minutes. So it is what it is. I do have a broken laptop. I'm getting a new one and then I'll have a webcam. So this will be a lot cooler. Um, I'll be able to take you guys into my man cave and we'll be doing reviews there. That's a 0.5 coil at 55 watts, 5.5 volts. <coughs> Not only does this little guy, I mean look how small this thing is, you see that? Not only does this guy chuck some clouds, but man it's got some great flavor even wide open, I love it, I mean for the ten dollars I paid for it. it's fantastic we'll talk about that eventually oh <coughs> lung hits I haven't had any lung, lung hits in a while we'll talk about that in an upcoming video um, take a drink here we got the sub ohm tank coming in an upcoming video let's see what I have in there I'm not sure what I'm vaping in there right now so here's the downside of the billow every time you take it off it leaves juice and it's not from the air holes guys if you think you are leaking from the air holes you're wrong because I've tested this out I've closed it fully up open it fully and it still leaks it's a 510 connection it actually comes let me see if I can pinpoint this it, I can actually see the liquid coming from right here right around this 510 connection um, I'm guessing it wasn't sealed properly and I know the billows have had problems so I'm sure it's the billow itself. Um, oh, rocking the Grim Army shirt right now. Um, so the, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it still vapes beautifully, so can't complain. So this Arctic on here. Um, this is a .7, I believe. .7. So I'm firing this at just 37 watts right now. Yeah, I mean it's got. This is this is my second adventure into the uh, the sub own tanks, and it's it's got some good flavor. Um, I'm not sure. This I believe this is the single coil one. I don't think this is the dual coil one. I get a lot of gurgling. It's really weird. I get a lot of gurgling out of this guy. I, and I don't know what it is because I haven't heard any reviewers complain about that, but I do get a lot of gurgling. I'm not sure what's the issue on that. Vape's good. I mean, flavor's great. Easy fill. You can see it's wicking well. There's the bubbles just popping right up to the top. I mean, it wicks great. So, a couple things. You've seen what, uh, what I've got here. I've got some mod fuel liquid, we'll talk about that, we'll talk about all the juice, I've got um, breakfast at Tilio's, the milk, this is uh, Frosted Flakes, that was really really good, those guys were really nice, um, so Vape Bash, first thing I want to talk about was Vape Bash, so Vape Bash um, was my first Vape Expo, uh, if you could call it an expo, it was dead, uh, I went on a Friday afternoon, uh, it's only open f Friday and Saturday. It is only open a couple hours, or I mean, it's a couple days. It is open extremely late, and we went straight after work. Picked up my friend Gil. We went up there, and it was a good time. Don't get me wrong. Um, I got some juice over here. It's driving me nuts. There we go. Clean that up. Um, but a lot smaller than I expected. And I know Vape Bash is one of the smaller ones, uh, but I was just really surprised how small it was. It was very, very small. And, uh, I mean, not to say I didn't have a good time. Like I said, it, it was a blast. I had a good time. Flavor's good. Um, it was just a lot smaller than I expected. There was a, nobody there. Though by the time we had left at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, people were pouring in. Um, who was there? Grim Green was there. I did not get to meet you, meet you Nick. I am sorry for myself and for you because I could have been a huge influence on your life. Um, in all seriousness, he was getting swarmed by people every time I looked at the Namor Juice table. Uh, so I didn't want to bother the poor guy. The guy couldn't even get a tooting because he was too busy being swarmed all night. So it is what it is. Nick, maybe we'll meet again sometime in the future. Um, Lucky Ruckus 
Juice was there. Um, Windy City Chicago Vape was there. Uh, there was um, the guys from Plumes of Hazard were there. At least one or two of them I saw wearing their shirts. Um, Nickwick, um, tons and tons and tons of juice companies. Uh, J Raps, like all sorts of stuff. I mean, a lot of the bigger name companies that you've seen were there. Uh, excuse me. Whew. Um, I think the coolest name there was obviously Grim Green. Everybody was super pumped to see him. Everybody wanted to say hi. He was constantly swarmed by people. I personally wanted to meet him um, because, you know, his videos are what started the thing. Him and Twisted 420 are what, you know, started me on vaping and we're coming up to my two year uh, vape mark. So um, that was really cool. It was cool to meet people. Um, a lot of vendors were really, really cool. Uh, my buddy bought our Heracles. Um, I did not buy any equipment. I do have a, <laughs> spoiler, I have an IPV. PV4 with some new batteries and nickel wire coming, so um, ooh, that'll be exciting. So you guys will get to see some of that. We'll do some heat, uh, some heated coils and some of that fancy nickel wire. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. I'm pretty pumped about that temperature control. So I'm still waiting on that. I did buy tons and tons of juice. We got tons of free stuff. Um, it was really cool. I had a really good time. We bought some Amber juice. We got some free shirts. Um, we hung out with uh, lots of chicks. Don't tell my wife. Um, what else did we do? That was really about it. We were only there. I mean, you really could walk the whole place in less than 30 minutes. There wasn't a ton there. I will say there were some epic clouds. Uh, man, that place was a fog storm. So uh, if you guys are interested to see what it looked like when it was dead, I did post a one-minute quick video. Uh, we were just chilling for a while, had some beers. Um, but it was a good time. I don't regret going. It was a lot of fun. It was free to get in, of course, and I got to get a shitload of awesome juice. Which brings me to my next point about some juice. Um, I did buy Glacier Banana, uh, Strawberry Circus, and Cardamizer Crush, which I believe these are all Grim Greens lines. Um, good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Uh, I mean, they, they are what they say they are. Glacier Banana has that hint of bana candy banana to it, and then a really nice menthol aftertaste. I've been mixing it um, my favorite mix right now is I've been mixing Cardamizer Crush with Nana Cream. Oh my god, that strawberry banana. Holy crap, that is freaking amazing. So uh, I was doing that in my dripper for a little bit, and that came out fantastic. I was really enjoying that. Um, we made our way to another table where we got um, this stuff. We met these guys breakfast at Telio, Telios. Telios? I don't know, they had expensive juice, but I gotta say the bottles are super nice. And you can see the frosted, or I'm sorry, the fruity pebbles right there. Um, spot on. I mean, spot on fruity pebbles. I was like, this juice is freaking fantastic. I have to buy it. I don't care how much it is. Um, so we got a couple free hookups. They gave us like free unicorn bottles and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed them. I don't like that. You hear that? That crack, it sounds like the coil's dry, and I know for a fact it's not. It's gurgling. It's, it's got tons of juice in it. You can hear it. But, uh, yeah, it just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. I don't know. Figure it out someday. Uh, anyways. Yeah, that's the Derringer. Um, what else? Then we went um, to a couple different tables. We bought a Heracles. We bought a couple different things. Uh, we bought we got Efes was there, so we got some new batteries, um, which we've got tons of batteries. Uh, we met these guys, Mod Fuel E Liquid. They did have a candy watermelon, which I think everybody makes a candy watermelon, but it was pretty good. But this this stuff was good. Uh, this is called Apollo. Uh, this is all Max VG. And it was born on 4-15-15, so they legitly made this like two days before they got there. Uh, this is a vanilla bourbon cream. Oof, that's some good stuff right there. Really, really good stuff. Um, really enjoyed their stuff. We got some quick Nick watermelon stuff that was really good. Um, I ordered, if I can find it. I have not tried this yet. Maybe we'll do it right now. Maybe we'll drip it. This is Agent P from Bombies. This is uh, one of their brand new flavors. I have not tried it yet. Let's try it. Fuck it. Why not? This, this vlog, vlog thing is just going to kind of go by it. The whim there, I think, is pissed off. Ooh, smells delicious. 
All right, Agent P. I believe this is a strawberry something or another. These are all Max BG liquids that I'm using. The thing that's cool about this Derringer is, yeah, um, I haven't had it leak yet, uh, which is really, really cool. You can see there's a lot of juice. Now you can't see it because it's too bright, but there's a lot of juice caught in the cap. But um, it still doesn't leak. No leak anywhere. It's interesting. Tastes like uh, like if Kiss the Ring and a strawberry juice had a baby. That's what that would taste like. Like uh, it's definitely got that custard aftertaste, like Kiss the Ring, which is some really really good stuff actually. Uh, yeah, I got that right there. Um, but it's like a mixture of them, which is really, really cool. I like that. Kiss the Ring's one of my favorites of all time, so. Whew, good stuff. Anyways. So that was Vape Bash. Vape Bash was really cool. It's still going on for another couple days. Um, no, I think just today. No, yeah, I don't know. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, so I've shown you that. Talked about Vape Bash a little bit. Um, we've got some new stuff that's coming out for reviews. Talked about that a little bit. Um, we did some juice tasting. We talked about that a little bit. Um, God, this stuff's delicious. Fixed gear. American Red Ale. Good stuff. Um, what else? What else? Um, where is the build? Oh, so what I'm going to do is show you a build on my Limo drop that's been working really well for me lately. Um, shout out to, I think it's TJ Vapes. He's got a really, really good video. I'll link him in the description. Describing how he wicks all of his tanks. Especially, oh shit. Especially all the ones that have the four channel design. Now this doesn't. I mean this is the two channel design because it's a single coil. However, uh, it still works the same. See, I've got this issue now. You see that? This damn O-ring does not want to cooperate. we got a gunky coil on there. I was using a dark liquid. Um, but man, that is that is really a annoying. All right, we're going to transition until I find my find my wick real quick. All right, transition. We're back. Sorry. Uh delivery man was here. So what we were doing? We were working on the limo. So, in the time you transitioned, I rebuilt a coil real quick. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, it looks like that. This is the Limo drop. So you get that really big chamber. But that's how I built my coil. It's a simple 2 millimeter with 26 gauge, 8 wraps. We'll figure out what it comes up to. Um, I did not fully clean it because I'm using the same juice. So, oh, we did not get a full connection on there at all, though. <laughs> So what I wanted to really talk about, and this is how the Limo came up in the first place, was tanks. And by far, they're the easiest thing in the world to use. Okay, let's, let's knock that out of the way. However, they're not very popular on my channel. At least it don't seem to be. Um, by far, my most reviews have come off my drippers. Uh, I've got over 10,000 hits. Sorry. I've got a nice little hand washing station over here. It doesn't fix everything, but it makes me feel a little bit cleaner. Um, so I've got over 10,000 hits on my Caterpillar. I've got a lot of other um, RDAs where I have 2,000 plus hits. Um, however, the tanks seem to get like 100. Um, nothing super popular, it seems like. And that's fine. You know, I'm not in it for the views. I don't make any money off this. This is just for fun and shits and giggles, and I enjoy it, and hopefully I help somebody. That's all I really care about. 
and uh, you know, add it to my hobby list. Uh, oh, in case you haven't seen the limo, it actually comes with a little rubber gasket, which I didn't even learn about until I opened the box fully. And it sits right into the fill hole, so you don't need to constantly unscrew and screw and unscrew and screw to fill it, which is good because with the limo drop, your your uh, your vape only holds about two and a half mils, maybe three. Uh, so this does fly through some juice um, quite a bit. So I do not want to keep unscrewing and screwing and unscrewing and screwing because I'm out of juice. So uh, we're gonna see what this vape's like. I've got I'm, I'm dropping in this Agent P. So back to tanks. Um, tanks don't seem to be super popular on my channel, which is fine. Not a big issue. However, for convenience wise, the majority of people are going to use tanks. And we're seeing that now because the sub ohm tanks have just taken off. And I mean taken off. Everybody and their mother was selling a sub ohm tank at Vape Bash. And that's what my friends bought. Um, my buddy, uh, if you watch the video, is vaping on Atlantis. That's how he quit SIGs. He tried the small egos, he tried those tanks, wouldn't work for him. He ended up smoking a cigarette and having that. And uh, sure enough, he got a hold of Atlantis at a local BNM, and he has been clean ever since. Loves it. So, oh yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's what she looks like. Okay. What do we got? What do we fall out at? So this is a cane to 1.5 ohms. Alright, maybe. I guess we'll find out. Fuck it. Uh, let's see. Airflow is wide open, of course. Which is still pretty tight compared to some of the other tanks that are here now. Really good flavor, though. Oh, this thing has some kick ass flavor. Good vapor production too. Um, really good mouth to lung on this guy. Really enjoy this guy with mouth to lung. Really enjoy this in my mouth. Um, so, I am going to continue doing tanks and here's why. Uh, I believe that's the future. I do. I don't, I don't believe drippers are going to um, reinvent the game. That's why I haven't bought a lot of drippers. They're all the same. They're all the same. One has more airflow than the other. One has an easier build than the other. They're all the same. They truly are. This Derringer, you want me to review it in a five seconds? It's a dripper with a lot of air and has good flavor. Three post design, your normal stuff, top cap, and an AFC ring. Done. There you go. That's, that's what this is. That's what every dripper is. Truly, drippers have no use other than test flavor and produce clouds. That's the truth. It's the 100% truth. They're great for testing flavors. They're easy. Oh, I want to try a new flavor? Wait till my cotton's pretty dry up. It's pretty, pretty wet still, so I'll wait. Dry it off, drip a new flavor. This is what I use testing flavors at Vape Bash. I walked around with this and this in my back pocket. And I would just be like, oh, you mind if I drip? No, go ahead. Try a new flavor. Easiest method ever tank not so much however if you're going out if you're going um, for example twisted 420 posted tanks have made them lazy you can get almost the same quality vape from a tank nowadays as you can a dripper however you fill it and you leave you don't need to worry about it you may have to fill it once or twice a day but then it's done you don't need to do anything else it makes life so much easier that is why my neighbors allowed that's why tanks will constantly be the future and it's just how it's going to be. As cool as that looks, the flavor is just as good on this device right here. It is. And I can put this in my back pocket. And this battery, which I haven't charged in two days, is still over halfway full. Okay? That's why this guy will be the future of vaping and that's just my opinion so 
I'm not looking for increasing my subscriber list. That's great. If you guys subscribe, that's fantastic. You guys can always follow me on Lego PC. Um, I post random pictures. I posted some vape bash pictures yesterday uh, on Twitter. Um, that's awesome. That's what you guys want to see. Uh, the new stuff. I'm always going to provide that, even if it is drippers like I just bought right here. But it's mostly going to be tanks because this is the future, um, in my opinion at least. Of course, I'm sure there's people out there that disagree with me. Pretty good for 25 watts. It's still a pretty warm vape. Oh, the omen shop. There we go. One ohm. I was going to say that 1.5 ohm made no sense. It's getting really foggy in this room. All right, so describer list. That brings me on to my next point and probably my final point for this little vlog we've got going on. We talked about juice, we talked about vape bash, we talked about all the cool new stuff that's coming out. Um, I think temperature control is going to be the future as well, and that is why I ordered an IPv4, which is supposed to have the same chip, I believe, as new SX that came out. I don't remember the chip number. Um, however, they're saying it works fantastic, so I'm super pumped about that. God, there's freaking clouds everywhere. I need to open up a window. This is ridiculous. Uh, now, we're almost at 200 subscribers, which is awesome. I think we're up to 178, 179, somewhere around there last time I checked. Let me move the camera. By the way, this is going to be a real big mess. I want you guys to see this. All right. So, let me turn this. This is my vape area. Okay. You can see it's messy because I've been building with you guys right now. You see all this stuff? Do you see all of this stuff? Hold on. We're not done. Still not done. Okay. Let's turn this back around. So, let's set you back down. I have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Matter of fact, this goblin right here. Pull it dripped up out of it. Dirty as shit. Oh, camera. Whoop. This goblin's got to go. Who wants this goblin? This is going to somebody. Um, I have not really enjoyed it. It's not my cup of tea. Too airy for me. Way too airy for me. This has got to go. This is going to somebody. Those drippers, those are going to somebody. I'm tired of them sitting here doing nothing and doing me no good. You want a Nautilus? Got a brand new Nautilus here. Used it twice. Who wants it? That's what we're coming down to. So I'm going to clean these out. At 200 subscribers, we're going to give away a few things. 300, we'll give a few away a few more things. Three, 400, we'll give away a few more things. And maybe at the 500, to even maybe we hit 1,000. I have no idea. Maybe next year we hit 1,000. Um, well, maybe we could start getting stuff donated. Um, that would be fantastic. So um, that's my real goal over here. Maybe I don't have to buy all this myself. This is all off of my own money. Um, there's nothing here that I didn't purchase myself. Uh, there's more missing that's the crazier part. There is stuff missing. I mean, I've got original Halo kits sitting here with all their juice. Um, my wife's still got a couple out with her. I've got bottles over here of liquid. I have tons of stuff, and I want it to help somebody out there. So spread the word. Share this video. Um, talk to your friends if you guys have any vape friends. Um, throw my name out there, whatever you need to do. Um, let's get this going and let's get some stuff away. I, I don't want all of this. Um, I don't need all of this. Uh, but the only thing I could use is some drip tips. I could use some drip tips. I only got about seven over there. Makes that sound. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. See, I just. Something about this limo just does not feed as well as these new tanks. See, you don't see the air bubbles coming. Where, where's the juice? Why is it not feeding? It's not dry, but it's just not feeding. We're going to have to drop the temp down here. Let's drop it down to 22 watts. That was a pretty warm vape. See, we see tiny little bubbles coming. It's driving me nuts. This limo drop drives me nuts more than any goddamn tank I own. I 
just it's flavorful, blows great vapor, but it just doesn't feed enough on this VG juice. Rip trippers, you're full of shit, man. Anyways, so yeah, that's what uh, that's what I really wanted to get a point across. Um, if you guys are interested in some free stuff, free swag, I'm doing it. So uh, spread the word. That's what we'll be doing. So hopefully you guys liked hanging out with me. Hopefully you guys had a beer and vaped along. Uh, this is ooh. Remember I told you the Derringer never leaks on me. Oh, got it through the O-ring. Well, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. Anyways, get the word out. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get some new stuff in here. I'd like to do some more reviews. However, again, my cash flow is only so deep um, and what I can buy. So um, I'll continue to pump them out, guys. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's not an issue. So I've already got uh, six more reviews coming lined up. I know I'm constantly behind whatever, behind everybody else, but again, you got to remember I got to buy my own stuff. So that's all I got for you. Hopefully, you guys liked hanging out with me. If you didn't, well, you know, the unsubscribe button's up there. Whatever. It is what it is. I got my own personality. So until next time, look forward for review soon. Hopefully, we'll get a new camera. We'll get a new atmosphere in here. I'm sick, kind of tired of looking at this office space here. I haven't done anything with this room yet, and I've owned this house for five years. Till next time, Lego PC. Peace.